if I was going back to university to study again, I would look at biology and epigenetics because epigenetics is one of the most fascinating areas of biology at the moment. And in this book, the author brilliantly describes what is going on. We get taught in school that it's all about the DNA, the genes, and that determines what we turn out like, our genotype, our hair colour, ish, um, how tall we are, things like that. But there is so much more to it than that. And the author uses some brilliant analogies to help describe this. She describes the, the genes as like the scripts of the play. And the examples that she uses is Romeo and Juliet. So, the genes, the DNA, that's the script that Shakespeare wrote, but there are so many different interpretations of Romeo and Juliet, from Claire Danes and Leonardo DiCaprio doing it to other people doing it who I can't remember because they weren't as good, but the interpretation by the actors and the director, that's the epigenetic changes that happen after it. Because epigenetics is all about the tiny little changes that happen to DNA afterwards, which change the way that the genes, the DNA is expressed and change what actually happens. So it's this whole extra level of DNA control changes that happen on top of the basic blueprint of what is going on. Now I first came across epigenetics at university when I was doing a research project and it's one that's covered in this book. It's about these two diseases, Prada Villis disease and Angel Mouse disease, which are exactly the same mutation. Which disease you get depends on which parent you inherit it from. You inherit this mutation from your father and you get one disease. You inherit the exact same mutation from your mother and you get a completely different disease. And they are completely different diseases. Looking at two individuals that have Prolovillis and Angel Man's disease, you wouldn't know that they had exactly the same mutation going on. Because it's all about the changes that happen afterwards, the changes that happen because of who you inherited the mutation from that lead to this disease. And I think all of the different things are just so, so fascinating. It talks about why identical twins are never actually identical. Why you have cats that are tortoise shell who are always going to be female. Why if you had a clone of someone, they wouldn't be exactly the same. So if you're interested in biology, if you want to take your reading of biology further, then this is an absolute must read.